Hello, we are happy to have you spend some time with us as we discuss the human development major in this information session. Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Jenny Lee Kim. I am the program director for this new human development major. I wanted to share a little bit of my background with you. I earned a bachelor's degree in psychology with honors at Vanderbilt University. And there I was really fortunate enough to study brain patterns of children with moms who were diagnosed with depression, really enjoyed um, doing research as an undergrad. I then moved on to earning a doctorate here at the University of Maryland. My degree is in human development with a developmental science specialization. And here I was really able to pursue more of my passion and interest for understanding how children develop, how they think about the world, how different factors like their gender and their culture and their parents change the way and influence the way that they grow. So after I graduated here from Maryland, um, since I'm still here, you can imagine and guess I really love Maryland. I've been teaching for about the past 15 years. I have a lot of experience with many of the courses that are part of this new major. And I can't emphasize enough how super excited I am to um, be involved in this new endeavor. Hello, I'm Jessica Chu, and I'm the Primary College of Education Academic Advisor for the Human Development major. A little bit about myself, I earned my undergraduate degree in psychology and a master's in educational leadership, higher education, and student affairs from Eastern Michigan University. After graduate school, I moved to Maryland and have been fortunate to be a part of the University of Maryland Turk family. Looking forward to working with you. Okay, so here's a brief overview of what we're going to be covering in this info session. We'll start with talking a little bit about what actually human development is, and then why you should consider majoring in human development. I'll talk a little bit about what's in the works for our major, and then Jessica will walk us through some degree requirements, talk about the gateway courses, show you a possible sample for your plan, and then I'll jump back in, talk about the internship requirement of the major, research opportunities, some possible career tracks, and then we'll conclude with some notes about advising and next steps for becoming a human development major. Okay, so let's start with the most important question, and that is, what exactly is human development? And I don't know how many times I've been asked this question, not just by students curious and interested in the major, but even by my own family and friends. And why would that be? Well, because it kind of seems similar to psychology, but it's not. And it kind of seems similar to family science, but it's not, right? But what makes it very different and at the core of human development is this notion of change. And what this change is all about is that we are interested in studying what are those changes that all of us go through. So what are those changes that you go through physically, cognitively, psychologically, or socially? And this can be from birth to childhood, um, into the teenage years, through the early adulthood years, to the middle of your life, and taking you all the way to the end of life. And what I'm talking about these changes that each of us go through, I'm talking about how you change physically. We all go through puberty, we all grow from the time that we're born into full adulthood. When I'm talking about cognitively, I'm talking about how your thinking changes. When you're very young, it's very simplistic and you have this wonderful, wonderful growth in your brain that allows you to think in more complex ways. Psychologically, we're talking about your attitudes, your perceptions, not just about yourself, thinking about your identity, but also thinking about your social world, thinking about friendships, your relationship with parents and so forth. So there's a lot that we study here and we're so fascinated in the study of human development by, again, that notion of change. What we're also really vested in learning about is not just all the changes that each of us go through, but we're interested in what could affect and change and influence all these different patterns of growth that each of us go through. So, for example, how does your family influence who you become? How you change physically, 
how you change in the way you think. If I think about the particular time period we're in now with the pandemic, I think it is ever so apparent that there are so many different factors coming from your culture, your home environment, school, technology, that actually impacts a lot of the things that we do, changes the way that we think. And it's not just about how it impacts young children, but even you as college students, as young adults, think about how you're all coping differently and flourishing differently during challenging times. And this is really what human development is all about. And as a major, these are the type of topics, um, the type of, you know, different areas of development that you're going to be studying. Okay, so before we move on, I wanted to share a little bit of the background and relevance for why we have this new major in human development. So our department, the Human Development and Quantitative Methodology Department has actually had a very successful and robust graduate program, master's and doctoral level in human development for several decades. And then it became pretty clear that we had a lot of undergraduate level courses that students may wanna take in the area of human development. And so a minor in human, human development became available in 2008, about 12 years ago. And then since then, with both programs in place and being very successful, there was a natural step and progression to creating this new undergraduate human development major. And we're very excited that as we are housed in the College of Education, that with this launch, uh, for the first time in fall of 2020, it will be the College of Education's only non-teaching certification program that is available. And so again, we're very excited, and especially as both our graduate program and our minor program um, has been in place for a while, we have a lot of faculty who have a very strong research agendas and interests, and it's going to be really great for this new major. Why should you consider the human development major? First off, anyone can be an HD major. There's no LEP, and you just have to meet the university requirement of a 2.0 GPA. Also, I want to highlight that this is a very flexible major. First off, we've got gen ed courses integrated into the major requirements. So this allows you to actually get through your requirements quicker. And for that reason, it is a great double major. Um, and if you're a transfer student, it's also a very good option. There might be a lot of courses that you can take very quickly and meet not just the human development major requirements, but also the university gen ed course requirements. There's also a flexible internship, and I'll talk more about that when we get to the slide where I'll talk more about the requirement, but we've got a lot of options there. I also want to emphasize that there's cultural relevance right now to the study of human development major. First off, we are living a lot longer, right? We are living a lot longer, and there's so many different sectors of society that are impacted by us living to, on average, the age of 75, 77. And so there's a lot of cultural relevance. People want to know what's coming, what's coming in the next stage of life. This can impact those who are in the business sector, in the health fields, um, education, and so forth. And so a lot of the coursework, a lot of the research opportunities that you will have, they're going to prepare you as a student of this major for a career working just with different populations, babies, children, youth, young adults, and the aging population, which is a very fast growing sector of our culture. Well, I am excited to share that we have a couple of things in the works with this new human development major. First off, we are planning for an honors program in human development to tentatively begin in the 2023 to 2024 academic year. 
it's going to be an honors program that would require a research project that culminates in a presentation or thesis paper. And this would be under the guidance and advisement of a professor in the department. There's gonna be more information coming, so be on the lookout for this. We also have in the works a five-year BS MA program in human development. It's going to leverage the robust graduate courses that we have in our department and then also our undergraduate courses. This is tentatively to begin in the 2024 to 2025 academic year. So more info on that later. I just wanted to let you know um, in case you're interested. Here we show the 46 credits required for the human development major. Please make note that in order to graduate from the University of Maryland, students need to earn at least 120 credits and complete the university general education requirements. On this slide, we are specifically showing the human development requirements. To address the required courses, with the exception of Psychology 100, all other course requirements come from the HDQM department. There are three gateway courses, EDHD 200, EDHD 201, and EDHD 320. There are two statistics courses, EDHD 306 and EDMS 451. There is a seminar and internship requirement, which totals seven credits. And for the required core and elective courses, students have the option of taking different courses to meet the remaining 21 credits in these two areas. Nine credits must come from the core courses and 12 credits must come from the courses listed in the human development electives section. Students may have an age group in mind that they're planning to work with post-graduation and building the major around those interests could be a really nice fit. Students who are interested in pursuing this major will work with their College of Education advisor to establish their academic plan to complete the coursework. This academic plan shows all the requirements for the human development major as broken out by semester. This plan does not account for the actual courses you have completed or that you have in progress, but shows what a freshman with no prior credit would need to do in order to complete the major. Each student's pathway to a degree is different. Be sure to connect with your College of Education advisor to go over the program requirements. So I'm going to talk a little bit about the internship, and this is just going to be an overview. So if you have any questions and I didn't answer them in this very, very brief overview, please feel free to reach out to me. I would be more than happy to talk to you about some of the requirements that might have been unclear or you have additional questions about. So our HD majors are required to take a one credit seminar. It's EDHD 390. And this is designed to not only prepare students for their internship in the following semester, but we're also going to review best practices for career planning, specific to human development, and that will be during this one semester. And so for most of our students, this will be during their third year or their junior year. So with this internship, you have to complete six credits, and we've got these flexible options, and you see four here. The first one is that you can do a research internship with our human development faculty, or if you wanna go outside of our department, that's absolutely fine. It just has to be approved. And you can do six credits. Option two is what we're calling the external internship. It's also commonly known as a field internship. So this can be with um, an organization that can be local to University of Maryland. It can be a child care facility, an aging facility, maybe it's a um, organization that does research, that does outreach, nonprofit. So there's a lot of different, you know, options there. For the third one, you can actually do a combination. So you can do three credits of a research internship, and then you can do three credits of an external internship. And then finally, option four is that you can do either a research internship with, again, UMD faculty or an external internship, and this would just be for three credits. 
And then let's say for whatever reason, you don't want to continue that option, then you can just take one additional 400 level elective for three credits and you're done. So I just want to emphasize that it's flexible and that we have a lot of great faculty in our department that have various and very successful, you know, research uh, groups that are going on. And so we would actually help place you with them. So let me elaborate more about the possible research experience that you can have as a human development major. So for students who choose a research-based internship, first off, we're going to help connect you with our faculty. And we've got a stellar group of faculty. You can see on the right there a picture of just two that we have, a description of their research interests. We're actually going to launch a faculty bios and research opportunity listing up on our HD major website soon, so be on the lookout for that. I want to encourage any of our students interested in research um, to start early. We have a course called EDHD 228, and this is research experience and human development, primarily geared towards freshmen and sophomore. And what this allows you to do is that you can get in touch with faculty early on. And if it ends up where you're a great match and you're doing research that you are interested in, you can continue to have this relationship with them, take your internship credits with them, and that would absolutely um, fit in very well with your human development major requirements. Okay, so some of you might be wondering, what can I do with this major once I graduate? And so I wanted to talk a little bit about some possible career tracks. And as I had mentioned, that one credit seminar called 390 that you would be taking as part of the major, we will definitely be covering a lot of this, but I just wanted to give you a brief overview here. So one thing is for sure, our human development majors will be well prepared for any career in social science research, graduate school, and in any position in government, nonprofit, healthcare, it can be in the legal arena, private sectors, and all of these related to serving children, adolescents or teenagers, families, and also our aging population. And that's because going back to, you know, what is a human development major, that we cover the whole lifespan. It just means that there are more opportunities for you to take that knowledge that you will acquire from the major and you can apply it into almost every sector. And this can even be in areas that I haven't listed here, but this is just very general and broad. In addition to opportunities available through our program, I do want to make mention that we will encourage all our students to connect with the Career Center. They are a fabulous resource um, and they can really help not just continue but start you off on building your resume and your professional network. And we're going to be covering that in the 390 One Credit Seminar. The College of Education has mandatory advising each semester. It is recommended for students to meet with their academic advisor no sooner than two weeks prior to your date for your registration appointment. Academic advising will take place in 1204 Benjamin, which is the Office of Student Services in the College of Education, or via phone, Google Meet, or Zoom. All appointments must be scheduled with your academic advisor via Terp Engage. If you have any questions or are interested in setting up an appointment to change your major to human development, you will want to use our COE HD MAJOR at umd.edu email account. Students are also able to connect with Dr. Lee Kim to discuss questions that are in relation to the education, EDHD courses, internship requirements, or questions about their future career opportunities after graduation. How do I become a human development major? Be sure to check out the additional information we have listed on our website, go.umd.edu slash hdmajor, or scan the QR code listed here. If human development is for you, connect with us via coehdmajor at umd.edu to set up your initial academic advising appointment.
Perhaps you're not ready to declare the human development major. Have you considered the human development minor? The human development minor could be a great fit for you. For more information, visit go.umd.edu slash hdminor to check out the program overview and requirements. If you are interested in pursuing the human development minor, please reach out to educminors at umd.edu. Take note, students are not able to both major and minor in human development. Thank you for spending time with us. If you have questions, please send us an email. For human development major questions, please email coehdmajor at umd.edu. And for questions specific to the human development minor, please email educminors at umd.edu. Have a great day.